Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Him Made by Ying with Donna. Today I'm working on my legit kit and I'm telling you what, it's stellar. I love it. And right now I'm on month two, week eight. This time is flying by so stinking fast. So we're going to move along to LM and that color is lime. So I'm going to pull out the lime and I'm going to look here on my cutting guide, B4, and it's here. So this is quite a big section. So I wanted to mark it off. So I'll be finished with this lime for this project for this month. So I'll slide this aside for just a minute and we're going to get this puppy lined in. And it's going to take up a significant amount and as you can see, they give you a hefty sum of fabric to work with. So I'm going to wiggle it in because I'm curious as to just how much I'm going to have left in the end. So I'm going to challenge myself to get real tight on all of my blocks. I'm going to leave a quarter of an inch all the way around and I'm going to pin in place. I prefer to pin, that way my fabric doesn't shift. You do what works good for you. So now I'm just gonna trim in here and I go the extra quarter of an inch all the way around. Then I'll slide it and moving it's not gonna mess with my fabric because I've got it pinned in place. So we've got this done and now I can put this away and I know I won't need this anymore for month two. But that's quite a lot left over. I think they did amazing with their measurements. So I'll put the lime away and my next color is going to be down here. KL. So I'm going to look in my filing system for KL and you want to make sure that you're getting the right colors that's going to go exactly where you need them and that's going to be key lime so i'll pull this out and i need a piece that's going to cover that whole section so i'm going to come down to the bottom and make sure that i have my piece marked and i'm marking it off this will be the last piece for this month as well and once again you can see they gave us a hefty sum of fabric is that not amazing so I'll slide it up and just lay it in place. Slide it over just a tidbit and I'm making sure that my whole block is covered. Then I'm just going to slide it in and we're going to cut this off. And make sure that you're giving yourself that quarter of an inch because when you're sewing it in, you need that little bit of a seam allowance in there. So I'll slide this out. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to trim this one out as well. all of my colors and I'll set those aside for just a minute so I can slide this in. I have to cut this little tidbit off with this and now all of this is going back under key lime. And somewhere along the way we may need a little tidbit. You never know so it's better to have it. So it's going back into its little sleeve. So now I know it's going to lay this way. So I'm going to fold it in and line it up. And then you're just going to make sure you have your quarter of an inch. And then you're going to lay it here and you're going to flip it up and you're going to make sure that you have enough because you want everything to cover. And that will definitely cover. So you can pin in place or you can just pinch it. 
So I'm going to slide in right there, move all of my instruments from under my machine. You need quite a bit of tools when you're FPPing, but it makes the job so much nicer to have the, everything that you need. I'll be doing some videos along the way that's going to show you little tips, tricks, and things that I've learned as I'm working these and other FPP projects. But the main thing is I like to get all those strings out of the way. So I'm going to fold this back. And I'm really going to push it up in here because I want to make sure that I've got that block covered. And then now we're going to give it a little bit of heat love. Now we're going to go right here and we're going to fold back. And as you can see, that's a little bit wonky. So the easiest way to get that straight is go ahead and use your rotary cutter and trim that little bit off. It's not going to make a big difference, but it does for me. So my next color is going to be HR. So we're going to pull that out. And I'm going to look on my chart, B4. So I've got that here. And I've got it up in this corner. So I'm going to need this two times. So I know I've got these right chart, right pieces. So all of this is going to be set aside now. And we're going to make sure that we've got this piece covered. So you're just going to lay it in. I like to keep my tags on my fabric for the duration of the project. And then I file them for later. So I'm just going to lay this here, and make sure I've got that extra quarter of an inch all the way along the way. And I'll flip it back over, and here's where we're going to just trim out. Make sure every little tidbit is in. And you can also do it this way with your rotary cutter. It'll make it go a little smidge faster for you. So we'll move those out of the way. That piece is now cut in place. So what I'm going to do is just flip it over and line it up. There's a lot of flipping and twisting in this block, huh? I'm going to slide it under, and this one here, since it's into the sew line, into your trim line, you're going to want to make sure that you're sewing straight off and coming right in. That's going to help secure your block in place, and then when you trim it in, it's just going to stay nice and tidy. Get your strings. Make sure that they're trimmed nice and tight. We're going to flip it over and finger press it into place. Now we're going to press it. Little dab of heat love. We'll trim this in after we add that next section. Is that not gorgeous? Love the way these are coming out. So now I've just got this little tidbit, and it's the same color we've already used, but I've got my scrap from my other project, and I know it's going to cover that block. So I'm just going to use it. And I'm going to slide it right in, and I know it's going to fold over and cover exactly where it needs. They order enough fabric that they keep everything really nice. If you run short, you can give them a call. And they will send you a little sliver of extra fabric or whatever your need is. Everybody has miss cuts from time to time. So you're going to finger press it up in. As you can see, that was a lot of overage. But I wasn't worried about trimming that in because that's a scrap from another month. Press it in here and just make sure that it's nice and tidy. 
We'll put this color away. We're finished with it for now and slide it in. We'll flip the block over and we're going to trim it in. Give it a little bit of pressure and slide your paper out of the way. You can do these in so many different ways. The sky is the limit. line up take your time you didn't put all the work in to mess up now and you don't want your ruler to slide so what I do is leave my fingers lay back here so it helps secure the ruler so it doesn't slide and cut slow keep your fingers away from your cutting area you don't want to accidentally nick yourself and slide it in And there you go. Is that not just gorgeous? They have done such a fabulous job with all of these blocks. Now this was month two, week eight. So as we progress along, you're going to see all of this magic come together. And sooner or later, one month I might just sit and if we've got five weeks in the month, I'll just go ahead and start sewing the sections together along the way so when we do the wrap-up video it'll be a little bit simpler for all of us so take care god bless and i'll see you back for month three